On Saturday, January 7, 2012, Manatee County's Natural Resources Department opened a brand new exhibit at Robinson Preserve. Located in the Valentine House, the Artificial Crochet Coral Reef is a celebration of Manatee County's unique man-made reef habitat system. Come dive with us now through this incredible exhibit. The reef guide for the day, Aiden Stockdale, explains the reef now. Welcome to the Crochet Artificial Reef. What you're looking at right now is over a hundred different pieces of crochet. We have different animals, different corals, different fish, starfish, seahorses, and all the pieces here today were actually made by volunteers. We have a core of over 20 volunteers that worked for more than a year to put all hundred plus pieces of this reef together. Now the reef is actually individual units of foam modeled after reef balls, which are artificial reef units that we sink in Manatee County to actually make our artificial reefs. Now we've also used things such as boats and pilings to make artificial reefs, but these units are cool because they're pretty easy to model. And the foam is actually run straight through with a pin and we've actually pinned all these pieces together to make them look like they're organically growing right on the rock. To celebrate the grand opening of the exhibit, we also hosted a Meet the Reef Festival. During the festival, visitors could participate in a wide range of activities designed to help them learn more about artificial and coral reefs. Young and old alike delighted in the opportunity to construct an edible coral reef Using marshmallows, pretzel sticks, frosting, a graham cracker, and sprinkles, they learned about how coral polyps grow. An important component of the day was the opportunity for visitors to learn more about artificial reef creation and monitoring. At Marine Tech's display, visitors had the opportunity to build and pilot underwater ROVs in order to get a better understanding of how robots can be used for monitoring. Alan Lyhip, Manatee County's own Marine Resources Program Coordinator, explains the Artificial Reef Program now. Manatee County's been involved in uh, the construction of artificial reefs since the 1980s. Uh, we currently have 13 reefs in the system. There's eight nearshore reefs and five uh, offshore reefs in the Gulf of Mexico. Our artificial reefs actually provide a significant economic benefit to the county in terms of the recreational opportunities that they provide for fishermen and divers. From a fishing standpoint, the um, amount of money that people spend on gas, bait, 
ice and other related things. And as far as diving, in terms of uh, just the equipment, and again, expanding money in the county and a benefit to the dive charter businesses as well. Visitors also had the chance to learn about the sea creatures that live on the reef. There were all sorts of opportunities to help visitors learn more. By choosing their favorite reef animal and getting a face painting while learning about it, meeting experts in the field and marveling at displays and exhibits, or by meeting costumed entertainers dressed as some of the incredible array of creatures who inhabit coral reefs. The Crochet Coral Reef exhibit will be on display at the Valentine House until Friday, March 16th. For more information, please call 941-748-4501, extension 4605. Or visit us online at www.mymanatee.org.